Greetings, YouTube. Uh, apologize for the fans, but it's a little bit humid where I am at the moment. As I've mentioned in the past, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor of mental and physical abuse. I'm a survivor of sexual abuse. I am in therapy. Uh, though I was off for a while, I had to go back after the November 2016 elections. Uh, but I'm in therapy for depression, anxiety, and PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, which still makes me smile that I actually came up with my own diagnosis of that, even though my therapist knew it the first time we ever spoke. <laughs> I was slow on the uptake, but I eventually got there. But one of the things I can do as a survivor, besides taking care of myself, is to be aware that other people suffer. Now that sounds like a really simple concept. And it's at the core of Buddhism that suffering is universal. Everybody suffers. And we do it in many different ways. Whether it's the homeless person in the street, or whether they're the child of a billionaire. Everyone has suffering. In that universality of it, is what connects us if we're willing to see it. Now it doesn't excuse behavior, which is what this video is about. Because while I'm aware of my suffering, that means that I have the capacity to make sure I don't spread it. That I do not intentionally spread suffering. And when I do so unintentionally, when I become aware of it, I can make amends, I can make corrections, I can make sure that I then move into the don't spread suffering category. It isn't always easy. It takes introspection. It takes looking at yourself in a hard, cold light occasionally, but also looking at yourself with loving kindness. Because we are all victims and we're all victimizers. And while we have no control over the former, we do have control over the latter. We don't have to hurt each other. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to love every human being in the world if you're not at that stage in your life. I know I'm certainly not. There are those who are, and the gods bless them. But we should all get to the point of not hurting others of not spreading suffering. I know it's a simple concept, but it's not a simple implementation. It really isn't. And I have to work on it all the time. I think if we all work on it all the time, if we all strive for that position inside our own heads, that place of peace, that we do no harm. If we apply the Hippocratic Oath to the whole world, we'd all be better off. And when we can't, we have to admit our complicity in capitalism, in racism, in misogyny, in bigotry. We have to accept the fact that we have been involved in these things and are are involved in these things, and we have to do what we can to mitigate that. And it isn't easy. And it isn't always fun. But we can do it, and we should work on it. Because at the end of time, at the end of the day, we will be kinder to ourselves, and we will be kinder to others, and hopefully they will be kinder to themselves. And they will be kind to others. And it's kind of a nice feedback loop. And in uh, our current trying times, uh, I think we need that. 